I just paid an Etsy witch $7.99 to make your life a living hell. Brace yourself. Y'all are weird. You think I would trust a man enough after everything I've been through to get me pregnant? I c you in your sleep. I c you in your sleep. Before, in fact, the minute I find out I'm pregnant, I'm gonna c you in your sleep and then I'm gonna go get an abortion. Two people will be dead. If a man talks to me when I'm walking down the street, I'm gonna lose my on them. Men are going to live in fear. Oh, women are so sensitive. Women are so sensitive. Why don't you smile? Why don't you f me? Die! Oh, you thought it was over. Oh, no, it's not over, bro. All right, it is not over. There are more to come. Just get ready. Sit down. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink. Get ready for the absolute madness that is Wokeness 2024. May he do everything he promised you he would. And may you fucking choke on it. How about my Glock, your dome? Your body, my trunk. Your body in the motherfucking lake. Your body in a body bag. I will perform a late-term abortion on your ass. I will do what your mother should have done 20-some odd years ago. Don't piss me off today. Don't piss me off ever. Y'all are f***ing around with a bunch of pissed off f***ing women right now. And you're about to find out in the worst way possible. Keep making your little jokes. Because if y'all want to be funny, we're about to be hilarious. We'll never sleep with a man who voted for Donald Trump. The vote for him is a vote against my rights as a woman to protect myself and make decisions about my body. It means he does not respect me as a woman or think that my life and my choices have value. Women know who you're voting for and know who you're sleeping with. Do you know how many people fought and lost their lives for the sole purpose of being able to vote? It seems like they must have forgotten this. Like, why would? you loan your vote to someone else's cause. Your vote is your vote. My vote is my vote for me. Hey, Mega. I was just taking some trash out and I thought I found a flying to give for you. You know, about you losing friends and family members this past week due to your cult activity. Um, but it turns out it was just a plain old fuck you. I hope and pray you have the next four years you deserve and you get everything you voted for. And it not only affects you, but also everyone you love. Have the next four years you deserve. Disgustingly uh, alarming number of people voted completely against uh, their moral um, conscience and chose privilege and, and white supremacy <laughs> in the name of the economy, of all things, which many are sadly discovering the truth about that. Sadly discovering the truth about the economy? And we're all living in it. I'm sorry, not every single person uh, deletes babies as a sport, guys. I mean, th that's all that she pushed. And there were a gigantic amount of married women that had no interest in deleting their children. Anybody who is on the fence about becoming a lesbian, now is your chance! Like, give it a shot, give it oh. a shot. Let's give these f***ing men up. Like, I'm telling you, this is greener on the other side. Like, oh, come on. You okay. picked. Up okay. the shackles of yesterday Shoulder to shoulder gave freedom away Our daughters, daughters will abhor us And they'll sing in dreadful chorus What have you done, Sister Suffragette? What have you done, Sister Suffragette? What rights have been taken? You guys do realize if you want to delete babies you can just live in a state that is completely fine with deleting babies like roe v wade is it just passed everything down to the state level you know you can still do that based off of your governor right 
What's the issue here? Good morning. I'm trying to decide what to get my Republican leaning family members for Christmas. And I'm really thinking about a donation in their name to Planned Parenthood. Something that I feel strongly about. They don't, but it's better than getting no gift at all. Have a great day. Her body, my choice. Do it. Do it. Do it. Give me a reason. Give me a reason. Do it. So men think they own own you. Take it from somebody that used to be a man. You got boobs. You got a vajayjay. Guess what, honey? You own them. Trust me, they want it. Make them own it. I don't know how you can be a woman and support that man because he publicly hates women. You're just saying you have no respect for yourself is how I'm seeing this. Yeah. So f*** you. And now that he's going to be an orphan. Make them own it. I don't know how you can be a woman and support that man because he publicly hates women. You're just saying you have no respect for yourself is how I'm seeing this. Yeah. So f*** you. And now that he's going to be in office again, he can replace the person that's going to be stepping down with another pro-life asshole that doesn't care about women's health. Yeah. So basically, we are living in The Handmaid's Tale. Um, yeah. So, f*** all of you guys that are acting like it's not his fault. It is. I'm not even going to lie. That's probably the only loss in the entire video. Trump won. We are officially about to become second-class citizens. Here's a tip. Uh, if you ever encounter a man, if you ever encounter a man, this is what you can do. If you're scared, whatever, you don't want them around you, what you're gonna do is bark at them. It draws attention to yourself. They get scared. They, there's like a look of fear in their eyes. They all get it. Oh, um, fear. And they leave you alone. So yeah, I'm sure we've all fear? tried to be nice and they follow us home and whatever, whatever. No longer being nice, we're barking. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be completely honest here. I have never met a man that was actually afraid of a woman but if you start barking i think you're crazy and just not want to be around you right I mean, that's the reality of the situation here but fear you think you're using the word fear and afraid in a, in a weird manner actually i'm just gonna start being so mean to men like not like i wasn't really particularly nice to them before because like you know i just very quickly came on here to say that i'm so excited for and i fully support this movement of making mainly men's lives but really anyone who voted for trump's lives miserable uh i i'm really enjoying all this content about tormenting them so keep it up how could you not vote for Kamala? i just don't get it how how could you possibly vote for a man a straight white male of all people a straight white male how could you do that how could you do that to us how could you do that to yourself how could you do that to us somebody explain i just don't get it how could you not vote for Kamala? make it make sense i don't delete babies as a sport neither does my wife what affects us is the economy. Nothing that she said interested me. Not a single bit of it. That's why. I'm making plans. I've got two plans on how I can survive an, an authoritarian hellscape. Um, and um, I'm focusing on those plans and I'm kind of getting excited because I, I'm good with the plan, you know? And I'm, I'm implementing my plan. And it's big and it's scary, but you know, what what's the alternative? There, there's not one. No. Okay. So do your thing, make a plan, start working on your plan, and uh, yeah, build your bubble every day. Keep the losers and the haters out of your bubble because it's your bubble. You get to decide what goes on in your bubble. You can be delusional in your bubble. You can be happy in your bubble. You can be proactive in your bubble. Do whatever you want in your bubble. It is your bubble. It is time to cut the dead weight out of our lives, guys. I also think we should go do our own January 6th. What do you guys say? 
Jan 6. Let's go. Let's stop this dictator. Let's Save go. America. Dominic, what do you think I expect you to do if you hear one of your little boy classmates say that to a girl in your school? What do you think I expect you to do? Stick up for them, Stick up for them right? How? Telling the guy, no, I want you to ball up your fist and break their sh. Do you understand me? The only person you got to worry about getting in trouble with is me. And you're going to get in way more trouble if you participate in that than if you punch somebody in the mouth for participating in that bullshit. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Punch your eye. Yeah, punch him in the eye, Kevin. Exactly. Punch him right in the eye. Because it is not enough. Listen. It is not enough to just not be asshole boys, right? You have to do things about the other asshole boys. It is your job to stop those boys from being assholes. Got it? That's all. Go finish watching your cartoons. Sometimes I think the worst place for a young boy to be is in the household of a bitter mother. And the fact that a lot of these women who are saying and espousing all of these things, they have sons most likely, uh, your first thought is to tell your son to assault another boy in school. To get suspended and if he's old enough he most likely will sit in jail even uh, you're telling him to basically white knight for people who literally don't care about him right like what if the woman that he is supposed to be defending is a woman like you or like any of the women that we just encountered throughout the entirety of this video for everyone that voted for that man i want nothing to do with you i'm not going to engage with you and honestly, like if you leave comments on my page saying Trump 2024 or whatever, that's fine because you're just making it easier for me to figure out who I should be blocking. I'm just going to come out and say it because I'm tired of hearing people trying to explain away why these poor, disenfranchised young men skewed Republican this election. They like MAGA because they want to go back to the time where they were handed the keys to the castle and a doting wife in exchange for existing. They feel disenfranchised because this is no longer their reality. I just told a Trumper wearing a Trump shirt in Palm Springs, California at the Trader Joe's, F you. <laughs> and I'm insane, apparently. Yes. Yes, because you care that much. Yes. In fact. And I was like, yeah, no, you're right. I am crazy. I have lost my mind. What do you want to do about it? You want to find out just how much? <laughs> so he got out his camera and stood behind my car and I backed out and I just thought, you know, if he's going to be stupid enough to stand there, I, I will hit him because that's how much I don't give f***s right now. Um, he got out of the way uh, and then came up to my window and like I should have just driven off. I didn't. I don't know what I said. I think I blacked out a little bit. I think I was actually working through ripping his face completely off of his stupid head well there we have it more unhingedness is that even a word i don't know but i'm sure it needs to be after what we just encountered and the nerve to think that these individuals think that they're actually good people good moral people is absolutely crazy but there's many many more so stick with me guys if you guys are new here please like and subscribe uh the more that you like this type of content the more that i know that you want to see more of this type of content and guys again you guys sent me about 200 videos all right so more to come catch you guys later <laughs> Give me a reason. Give me a reason. Do it.